Do you suffer from shoulder pain, upper trap pain, or even headaches? Believe it or not, it may be from a weak middle trap. We're going to show you four simple and easy exercises to alleviate this just like that. We have found this one muscle in particular to be weak even in weightlifters. Yeah, so the job for this muscle is to pull the scapula in the position. If it gets weak, it can actually wing out like this as well as drop down like this. In both of those situations, it can cause shoulder pain, neck pain, and even headaches because it stretches out the scapula, levator scapula muscle. Right. How do you say that? But yeah. So anyways, we need to get after this muscle, and it's not real hard. All right, there's four different options to strengthen that middle trap. We're going to show you all four. Try each one. Do the one that works best for you. I think you'll get it once you actually try it. The position that you're going to assume is laying prone or on your stomach. You're going to put a pillow down. This could be done on a bed, probably best on a floor with carpet. Uh, put a pillow on the head so you're comfortable. Now, this is important. Your arms are going to be like this palms up towards the ceiling. Bob's uh, doing a little wave there, okay? And now what we're going to do, this is where his scapula is. Now Bob's gonna squeeze his shoulder blades together. You can see those middle traps are moving that shoulder blade in. Okay, let's go back down and we'll go through this step by step. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is elevate both shoulders up, squeeze them in. Now, if this is the involved or the sore side, the good side, you're gonna relax and you're gonna hold this shoulder up for three breaths. And you'll just relax and hold that and you'll get feel these muscles fatigue. When you get done with the three breaths, down we go. All right, that's the first one. Now, we'll go to the second. If exercise one seemed easy to you to progress, it was exercise two. So we're going to do the same thing, except for we're just going to pick one side and do that. So Bob is lifting up, and he's going to hold it for three seconds. Make sure to go straight up. Don't bring your arm down or bring it up either. Also, keep your hand on the mat the entire time you're doing this. Hold it for three breaths each time and do a total of five reps. All right, if that second option is still too easy, you need to uh, advance it with a, a little more difficulty, simply do this. Bob's going to pull up and bring the shoulder blade in and then lift up this hand two or one or two inches from the floor and again, hold it for three breaths, relax, and do that five times. And the fourth progression is a similar concept. So Bob's going to lift this arm up off the ground. He's going to turn his knuckles up towards the ceiling first, slightly bend the elbow, and then he's going to oscillate and do little circles. He's going to go 10 repetitions in a clockwise fashion, and then he will switch to a counterclockwise fashion for 10 repetitions. How easy is this for you? Hard. He says it's hard. Much harder. All right, so you're going to find which exercise is right for you. Do it every day, at least five to six times per week, and you'll notice after a week or two that shoulder blades start to feel stronger, pull in, and the good things will happen. So once again, what can we say? Be a good neighbor. Be a good neighbor and be helpful. Be helpful. Yeah, Bob said be helpful. I screwed so. up the line again. Goodbye. You, you're, you're doing wonderful, Mike. Take care.